Our Red Raider flashback of the week comes from 1987, Spike Dyke's first year as head coach. Less than a minute remains as Tech trails TCU. Billy Joe Tolliver finds Wayne Walker in the end zone for the game-winning touchdown. The Raiders rally for a 36-35 victory. Take another bow. Billy Joe and Wayne, two pretty good guys, two pretty good players. Man. I'm telling you, they're still playing together. They're still playing at Shreveport in the CFL. They've both been in the NFL for a long time, and they made a lot of things happen when they were here, Bill. Certainly a, a lot of fun to see those guys again. We've got uh, a new sports reporter working for us here at the station. His name is Drew Spire. To learn more about uh, the Tech campus, I sent him over to the uh, Tech campus this week to get a tour from the Saddle Tramps, one of Tech's spirit organizations. They can make a Red Raider out of anybody. Well, we're with the Saddle Tramps. This is not all of the Saddle Tramps. This is some of them. What's your name, guys? Chad. Cade. Clint. Well, that was quick and easy, wasn't it? Let's move on. What do you say? Where are we? What the, where am I right now? You're in the Athletic Training Center. What is that? Well, it's a 300-foot air-supported structure. It's a 10-sport training facility. What did he say? Now, there's a reason why we're all huffing and puffing and why we're sweating, because I've been on tours before, but none that have ever taken me over 100 feet straight up. We're in a municipal coliseum where they play volleyball and basketball, and these saddle tramps during the games drop those streamers all the way down there. I've never seen a Will Rogers statue I didn't like. Now, you guys, tell me about this thing. Eamon Carter, the stadium in Fort Worth, that guy, Eamon Carter, donated Will Rogers to you guys? Sure did. That's right. Now, tell me about the direction. This, what directions are we pointing here? What, what's up with okay, that? Okay, uh... He used to sit at the front of the Broadway entrance, but now he faces 23 degrees north from west, and his rear faces directly towards College Station, Texas. Well, we've made our way all the way up to the bell tower. We've climbed some more stairs. Now, tell me about the bell tower. This beast bells up here only go off when Texas Tech wins, right? That's right. Back in 1938, when uh, Tech beat TCU, which was ranked number one, our founder, Arch Lamb, rang the bells all night, and uh, he almost got kicked out of school for it, so we can only ring it for 30 minutes. Nothing wrong with that as long as the team wins, right? right? We're almost finished with our tour. The Saddle Tramps has taken me all over the Tech campus, and I've had fun. Have you guys taken this uh, seriously today? That's right, serious. How long have you been doing this? Well, since 1936. How many of you are there? There's 38 of us. 38 of you, so you're the lucky three then, right? Mm -hmm. How often do you do it? Uh, every time they schedule us for a tour, we give it. That's fantastic. I tell you what, I've had a lot of fun today. I know the Saddle Tramps are a big part of Texas Tech football. I'm Drew Speyer for Spike Dykes, Texas, Texas Tech, Tech football. football. I'm not sure the Tech campus will ever be the same. It's time for our play of the week. And Spike, I, I chose the defensive touchdown in the first quarter because I really thought it took the crowd out of the game and it also put points on the board for you guys. Oh, it's a big play, Bill. There's no doubt about what it did for our football. It gave us some confidence. It got us off to a good start. And that's what we needed to do so much. And uh, it was just a great play. Well, let's take another look at our play of the game. I told myself I, before the game that I want to start the game off right. And, you know, the ball come my way, and you know I had to take my chance. And I took a, you know, I come in in an angle, and I tried to disrupt, disrupt the play, and so I did. I don't know who hit him, and he kind of found the ball, and he tried to pick it back up, and Alma hit him again, and you know I was just blessed to be in the right place at the right time. Territory. Here's the handoff to Archie behind the line of scrimmage. He fumbles a scramble for the ball around the goal line. Who has it? The Red Raiders have it for a touchdown. Texas Tech has scored. Joining us now to talk about the play of the game and more is Tech defensive end Anthony Armour. You were in on that play, kind of knocked the guy off before he could get back on the ball. Yeah, um, I saw him uh, trying to pick it up and run with it, and I didn't think that would have been a good idea for him to do that. And I probably could have got the ball, but I just wanted to hit it out and uh, not be unselfish and just let somebody else get the touchdown. Good idea. <laughs> And how you like playing defensive end after playing linebacker? How, how, how did you really enjoy that first game? Well, for my first game, I really enjoyed it. I learned a lot this spring and uh, during tour days, and uh, playing this position has really been a uh, fun experience for me. Well, you did a heck of a job, I'll tell you that. Well, I can tell you that for sure, especially since you're coming off that injury as well, and nobody likes to sit out a season like you did because of the knee injury. Yeah, um, it's hard sitting out, but uh, I've came back and uh, I've played myself in pretty good shape, and uh, I think that uh, emotionally wise, uh, I feel really good about myself. Real quickly, the mood of the team, obviously, it, it, you don't like to lose, it leaves a bitter taste in your mouth, but you guys did play well. Yeah, we played real well. Um, we're not, you know, satisfied that we lost, but uh, we played real well and uh, we think we can build from this. All right, Anthony, thanks for joining us uh, here on the Spike Dax Texas Tech Football Show. Back with more of Spike Dax Texas Tech Football in a moment. <laughs> 